question two. A preliminary study determines that 37% of students ride the bus to school. Find the sample size necessary to create a 90% confidence interval that is within 2% of the population percent for the true value. Answer as a whole number. Okay, confidence intervals are always trying to find the population true value, so nothing there is new. This one does say population percent, so that's how we would know we're dealing with the P or P hat problem. As you dissect the other parts of this question, a preliminary study gave us a sample P hat. Find the sample size lets us know we are looking for N, even though we're talking about a confidence interval for a population percent. Uh, we want to be within 2%, so E is 0 0.02. A 90% confidence interval is one of the scores I've memorized to be 1.645. And so the only thing is Q hat, which is 0.63 that I had to find. So I plug everybody into the formula, starting with my critical value squared. I do have a p hat times a q hat, and then I can divide by the margin of error, which is squared itself. I get a sample size of 1,576.93, but we always bump to the next whole number, and 1,577 is the population the, sorry, the sample size I'll be selecting from the population to estimate the population percent of people who ride the bus to school. Okay, question three. Be great if you could pause it, work ahead, and then check your work. Ron wants to construct a 92% confidence interval for the population's percent of pictures that are photoshopped. Is that one word? How many pictures should he sample to be within 1% of the true value? And where he's sampling these pictures from probably makes a roll, but we'll let that go. So the bottom line is it asks how many pictures should he sample? So we know we need to just use a sample size formula. At this point, we now have three because aside from the two for proportion, we have one for the mean, but it does say he's estimating the population percent of pictures. So we know it's one of the two formulas that we have for proportion. Because it's a 92% confidence interval and we don't have it memorized, we need to find alpha. Divide alpha by two, and then go in the table and look for that value. So even though we'll get a negative z-score, don't forget that confidence, sorry, critical values are positive. And as I reread the question, there is no p hat. So that means no which formula I'm going to use. I'm multiplying the critical value squared all over the margin of error squared, and we're just using 0.25 for the worst case scenario of sample sizes. 7,656.2. It's huge. We haven't necessarily been getting numbers that big. Um, wanting to be within 1% is pretty close, so that's part of what makes that number huge. We'll bump it and decide that we're going to sample 7,657 pictures.